Okay, but what I'm saying is, I, I don't know why you have to do it now. Like, why, why do you need to leave tonight? Because it took a lot of pull to, to, to get to see this guy. I don't want to back out now. I don't know when I'm going to be able to see him again. Well, then you have to go for it. There's no question. Damn it, Greenlee. When are you going to butt the hell out of our marriage? Okay, you can look now. Live from Hawthorne Federal Detention Center, it's New Beginning starring Erica King. <laughs> Okay, well, have a seat up here. Yeah. It's your show after Carmen, all. Carmen, this is just too much. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> Erica, yes. we all wanted to thank you for everything you made possible for us. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, Erica has helped these three women here on stage have a new beginning of some kind. Sue here hasn't seen her daughter in months because her ex-husband moved to Reno. Loser ex-husband. Mm -hmm. Erica convinced her loser ex-husband <laughs> to let her mother and her little girl fly back here. And she got the airline and a hotel chain to donate travel and a room for them to stay. <laughs> and because of that, I get to see my little girl every couple of weeks. Thanks, Aww. Erica. Thank you. <laughs> has also been able to get a company named Cambius to donate new computers to the prison library. Mm. <laughs> and Miss Rosalie here now knows how to design web pages. Yeah! <laughs> it's a way to go, Erica. <laughs> Many of you have your own stories. So I think it's time that we let Erica know how we feel about all that she's done for us. You found our little girl. You're responsible, though, aren't you? Come on, admit it. Come on, please. I mean, Adam wasn't going crazy. He actually did see you. You're the only reason he finally admitted it to me. Just <laughs> talk to me about Kate. Come on, just tell tell me. Tell me oh, everything. Honey, she's... She's so fine. She's like... She's like a miracle. She's, she's magic, you know. She... She looks so much like you. She's got your eyes, you know, but there's just a tiniest bit of Martin Twinkle in there. Oh, oh yeah. She's... She's going to be a whole mess of fun. Yeah. I'm so worried about her. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. She's so vulnerable. You know, she's, she's already been through so much. She's lost so much. She lost her adoptive parents. And now Julia. But she'll be all right now. She has you. I want her to have you, too. I want her to know you. I I want you to be there for her. I will always be there for Kate in her heart. But you get to be there as her best friend, the greatest teacher that she'll ever have. She's the most blessed little girl in the world to have your forefather. You're going to have to go away again, aren't you? Let's not talk about it. I'm here now. I'm here now, okay? Let's just... Let's just be here now. Do, do something for me, will you? Do, do me a favor. Oh, anything. Make me laugh. Sorry, didn't mean to step into the crossfire. I'll just be over there putting a gallon of foundation on my face. Hey. What's going on? I mean, seriously, why did you jump down her throat like that? I, since when do you not want me to get my memory back? I do. Of course I want that. I'm just I'm really stressed out, and I, and I don't feel well. 
Are you still taking those B12 shots? Well, the doctor said I needed to take it easy. He said the, the vitamin shots aren't going to be the whole answer. I was just, I was really looking forward to us spending an evening together, and I made all these arrangements, and I thought maybe it would help de-stress me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm being selfish. It was just... Hey. I, I... It's okay, and I didn't know how important this was to you, okay? I, re I really didn't, and, and I'll just postpone New York, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Please don't be angry at me. I just, I just really wanted to be with you tonight. Okay. That was what this kidnapping was about, huh? Steal my bone marrow? I mean, damn it, I was dying. You were my only match, and I knew you'd never give it to me voluntarily. So, you are my only chance to survive, and I took it. All right? Now, if I had a chance to do it over again, I promise. You, you don't promise. get to do it over again, Richie! Yeah. You're fresh out. <laughs> So, you're the reason why I got sick. It wasn't because of the hooker. Huh? You gave it to me. Because you stuck me with a dirty needle. I swear I didn't know anything about it. I promise you risked my life and my family's life to save your sorry ass. What would you have done? This just makes the whole thing easier, doesn't it? Hmm? See, actually, you owe me for your life. So I'm just here to collect the debt. So, you see what I mean? They can hire all the big, bouncy boneheads they want. But we got the real New Beginning show right here, right now. Really, what you organized here today, this was really special of you. Thank you. I just wish there was a way to show the world. What a wonderful idea. Fertility mask. You know, it's obviously very, very expensive. You know, it's amazing looking at bright colors and stuff, big eyes. And I look at the letter. I open the letter. And it's from Jamie. It says, Pop, happy birthday. This Aww. is a very, very special gift. It is a, it's a tribal life mask. Ooh. And it's a big deal. You know, it's a big deal. It's hand carved, you know, by some special wood by a shaman or something like that. Mm -hmm. It says it's, it is literally a life mask, you know. So if you, uh, supposedly if you wear it, you look and feel, you know, 20 years younger. So I'm feeling, yeah, why not? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The chum was in the water, baby. So I just trapped this sucker on. You know, I'm hanging out for half an hour, cleaning stuff, watching television, feeling really good about myself. Nothing. And finally, I put it aside, you know. Kept watching TV, fell asleep. Next morning, I woke up, and I figured, you know, I'd go shower and shave, get ready for work. I go in, I look in the mirror, and, uh, and the color of a berry, like blue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, I mean, I just like ridiculously blue. I look like this crazed raccoon. <laughs> so I realized it's an ancient joke mask. It's a gag, right? So it takes me an hour to get Jamie on the phone just to tell him I'm going to kill him when he comes back. He starts to laugh. And I mean, he laughs so hard, he starts to cry. As far as I know, he's still laughing to this day. Yeah, it wasn't very funny at the time. I was going to run around for three days looking like a smurf. Turns out it's a dye that can't wash off. You have to... No, it has to... Stop. You have to... It has to wear off, right? I figure about the, the fertility thing. It's okay. I still got it. It's now hanging on the wall, but I still got it. <laughs> so tell me about... Where you are. What? Where you are. What's it like? Oh, <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's heaven. Yeah, well, there's no pain, there's no sorrow, there's no regret. You feel as big as the universe. 